Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we have some huge leaks to talk about and screenshots of Valorant, the game. There's also going to be some beta information in this video as well, which is just going to be the leaks and stuff like that. If you guys are new around here and you guys want to see some more Valorant gameplay content in general, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video and comment down below what you guys think of the video. And let's go ahead and jump into it. So with each image we're going to be showing you guys, I'm going to be breaking them down. So this is the first image right now, which is probably the most interesting in my opinion. I'm going to give you guys the most interesting at the start of the video, so I don't waste anyone's time. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the character on screen right now. So the image we have on screen right now is going to be a healer. The name of the character is Sentinel Sage. As we can see here by the low quality image, it's really hard to read these information for the abilities on screen right now. So we're going to bring up a better image showing you guys the abilities. The first ability we have here is going to be Barrier Orb. Equip a Barrier Orb, Fire, places the solid wall, Alt Fire, rotates the target. The second ability is going to be Slow Orb. Equip a Slowing Orb, Fire, to throw a Slowing Orb forward that detonates upon landing, creating a lingering field that slows and grounds players caught inside of it. The third ability is going to be Healing Orb. Equip a Healing Orb. Fire with your crosshairs over a damaged ally to activate a healing over time on them. Alt fire while Sage is damaged to activate a self heal over time. The final ability is going to be Resurrection. Equip a Resurrection ability. Fire your crosshairs placed over a dead ally to begin resurrecting them. After a brief channel, the ally will be brought back to life with full health. Now, without spending too much time on the image anymore, I just really quickly want to say that I do believe that only two of these abilities you would be able to pick within the round, I believe. I don't think it would be the whole match. I think it would be round specific, so it would be niche to whatever bomb site you're holding. So let's go ahead and move on to the next image. This image on screen right now is going to be another screenshot from the leaks that IGN actually leaked themselves. So as you can see here, you can take a lot out from this image. The first thing I want to point out is going to be React A. I think the bomb sites are going to be called Reactors. I don't think they're going to be called, you know, bomb sites. So reactors, that's kind of cool, yeah, I guess. The next interesting thing I'm going to be talking about is going to be the barrier orb on the right side of the screen. As you can see right now, it's being used for cover and also denying information for anyone rotating on that side. That's a really cool way to use the barrier orb to deny information using it like a smoke. That's really cool. The next image on screen is going to be someone holding a knife. Now, this is one of the most interesting images that I've seen so far, simply because it questions where... Is it going to be played out like CSGO where you have a knife always equipped as like essentially moving around the map because at the end of the day, you don't use a knife in CSGO to knife people usually. You use a knife to move around and to actually increase movement speed. So that's really cool. The next image we have here is really cool simply because the guns on screen, I don't think are the same weapons. The guy on the left is holding the gun from the magazine of the front of the gun, having his hands in different positions from the one that you are currently spectating in the image of. As you can see, the person that you're in the point of view in, they are holding their gun differently to the person on the left. I think most of us already knew that they're going to have different types of guns because from the next image I'm going to bring up on the screen, you can clearly see that there's a minigun in the game. Now, how much damage this minigun actually does, I couldn't tell you. I really hope it costs uh, quite a bit in the economy system of the game. But something that is really interesting that I don't think any, many people picked up on yet is going to be the fact that the player is actually shooting the barrier orb. As you can see, the player on the left with the minigun is standing on the same color of the barrier orb. As you can see, I do believe the barrier orbs might be able to be broken, so they're not just these overpowered walls that can't break. So that's really, really cool mechanic within the game, and I can't wait to jump in. This next image has a couple of interesting things in it. As we can see from here, there is something falling from the sky. There is something connecting to the wall. Someone is shooting a very large sniper. There's an ability happening in, happening in the background. This guy has high ground. Someone else is shooting something back. And this other guy is doing something on the left here that we don't know. So a bunch of interesting things to point out and to have a look at to let you guys see for a second. These last two images are going to be very similar to each other, so I'm going to allow you guys to brainstorm at your own pace while you guys listen to my voice about the leaks, about the beta information that's going to be released. That is apparently going to be March 2nd, which is actually today, or if you guys are in America, it's going to be tomorrow, which I think that'll be that time zone instead. So what I'm going to be talking about is that March 2nd is when they said that they're going to be releasing the beta information, and then later this month, they're going to have a beta release of some sorts. And then also in saying that, that later this month, they're going to be flying pro players, content creators, streamers of all sorts out to 
play their game, try it out, get some content, and upload that content, which being among that group would be really insane. I'm not even gonna lie, but I think a small YouTuber like me is probably not going to get that offer. So I'm just going to sit here and use the gameplay that they provide me, I guess. But yeah, with that being said, these are the images in today's video. If you guys did enjoy, uh, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. And if you guys are excited for Project A, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of your thoughts on Project A so far and the things you guys are most excited for. So again, thank you guys for watching the video. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.